gets very crowded in the summertime and in the winter. In the wintertime, they have a helicopter here and they offer heli skiing all winter long. Now, Snowbird does allow snowboarders and Alta does not. So, consequently, you get a lot of people here, snowboarders and skiers, but Alta, in its whole history, has never allowed snowboarders and I doubt that it ever will. So, in the wintertime, particularly on a weekend, you couldn't even park down here. There's just so many people. By 8 o'clock, this parking lot is closed and you have to go to alternate parking. In the summer, they run the gondola, so you can go to the top of the mountain. A lot of mountain bikers do that, taking their mountain bikes with them, and then they come down on the downhill. On Sunday and Saturday, they have a brunch here that's pretty nice. You can sit outside. It's pretty slick. Great hiking here, great mountain biking. They've got their sign up for Oktoberfest. They've got a number of rides here and stuff like that that people come up and enjoy the day or stay here through the weekend or go hiking, mountain biking, all that. Pretty cool. That's the Cliff Lodge there. It's the biggest lodge accommodations up here. So people can get a shuttle from the airport up here because there's no need for a car. There's a local shuttle that takes you between Snowbird and Alta. So this is the beginning of Alta. Over here is the Peruvian, one of the oldest lodges here. Prices are astronomical. One of the signs for the avalanche areas around here. 